start up at about the eye. I'm going to come up to the midpoint. And I'm going to use uh, this one millimeter razor foam. Cut a little taper in it. I'm going to tie it down just like I did all the other foam. Right to the barb. What I'm going to use for this, for the dubbing, is uh, this is an Antron. I think it was from Spirit River, but it's black, but it's got clear fibers in it. And you can see this dubbing; it's, it's got a lot of spark to it, and it's got a lot of clear fibers in it. And amps actually have three segments, but I'm using only time with two. Again, I don't think the trout can count. They might. So the back, the back end of this is a little bit bigger than the front end. Make a nice big fuzzy ball here. And now I'm going to pull this over the back. wraps and cut it off. And I'm going to come to just about the center. For my post I'm going to use this uh, bright orange, bright orange Antron yarn. And I'm going to here again, like I did the, the Zelon, I'm going to tie it in the middle. About two wraps. And I'm going to fold it up. I'm going to make about three or four wraps in the front, right, right up tight. Same thing in the back. And I'm going to post it. And by tying this in in the center, rather than Rather than trying to lay it down, it makes it very compact and everything's on top. And it's, it's in there going to be in there really tight. And I'm going to, now I'm going to post this. And the secret to making a good parachute <coughs> hackle is making the, a nice clean post. And you can't, you can't get any more wraps than what the height of your post is. So if you want to get 10 wraps of hackle, you've got to have a great big high post. Because if you don't, as you wrap down, the fibers start going every direction. So. You have to tie a couple, figure out how many times you have to post it. And on this one, I want about six wraps, so it's going to take about, I have to post it probably about 15 wraps. And with this ant, it's even worse because the, the body is sticks up, so it's going to throw my hackles up in the air a little bit. So the technique on the post is, for the tension, is I go around, a little tension in the back, then the tension's pulled forward. A little tension in the back, tension's pulled forward. And I want to get this nice, tight, smooth post. The smoother the post, the, the smoother the parachute hackle is going to wind around the post. Now, when I get it as high as I think I want it, I'm going to come back down with about three wraps down to the base. And I'm going to make a few wraps around it, tighten it up. I want that post really, really good and stiff. And then I'm going to put some head cement on it. Okay, now what I'm going to use is a, is a saddle hack life. Yeah, dull side up. It just gives you a much nicer hackle. And what I usually do is I strip, I, I strip fibers off, and, and the side that has more fibers stripped off is the side that's going to go around the post. Okay. So my thread is at 
right at the base of the base of the post. I'm going to, I'm going to catch it with a wrap, and then I want I want where that hackle is stripped to be just a little bit above that post because I want my first turn to kind of start on a bare stem. So I'm going to have it up there, and then I'm just going to bind this down. up to the eye and I'm going to dub another ball, little ball of fur here for the second part of the ant's body. come right back to the base of the post. Okay, now I'm going to put my arm in the way there. I'm going to pull that hackle up tight. I want my first wrap to be just above the top of that thread post. Now each wrap is going to be just below the below the next one. See, by having this saddle hackle, I can keep that thing perfectly flat all the way around. Now, if you I can do the same thing on that one. So I'm I'm down about as far as I can go. If I go any farther, it's going to start throwing them up because that body's in the way. I'm going to do that. I'm going to tie this off right front of the post. A little trick that uh, Quigley uses is he shortens his spread up really short for parachutes so that you can slip it just right over the body. And you want to get about three wraps, three wraps tying it off. And that'll hold it, hopefully. Come in here and Cut my hackle off. I'm going to keep tension on it. Then I'm going to pull this up, get some more wraps in there, make sure it's good and tight. If I have any flyers in here, I'm going to cut these out. And then I'm going to wood finish it right there. Before I cut my post short, I'll take a big old gob of glue here, and I'll get it and I'll, I'll soak it right, right down in there, so it'll go right down in all the hackle. So then you just want to whack it off straight across the top, and then you can trim out any of these little wild hairs and stuff in there. And there it is. The almost perfect dam. Yeah, it works really well. It works really well. Is that going on your trip? Yeah, I'm a little short of those, but I'll give one the bill. The other thing I like to do is I like to put a big gob of flexima right down there at the bottom of the base of that thing so it can't come apart. I don't know what it is about about ants, but trout just love ants. Why? Must must taste good.